15% of all strokes are caused by hemorrhagic strokes and majority of them are intraparenchymal bleeds. CT is the best investigation, investigation of choice to look for bleeds in the brain. So let us review some of the CT findings that we might find in intraparenchymal bleeds. So this right here on the left, you can see this white area. It is a hyperdense area, whiter than the surrounding brain matter. That is a bleed in the left cerebral hemisphere left basal ganglia of this patient so this area all around here is a bleed hyperdense this little rim dark rim around it it is cytotoxic edema accompanying this particular bleed so this hyperdensity is an intracaparenchymal bleed many more bleeds you can see around here this is a bleed in the right Putamen area, this is a right thalamic bleed, this basal ganglia bleed accompanying many structures, this is a pontine bleed, cerebellar bleed on the right side and a right temporal bleed around here. This is a thalamic bleed on the left side. Let us see the next bleed that we have. It's a massive, massive hypertensive hemorrhage in the basal ganglia. You see it around here. It is going into the ventricle as well on this side and it has got a midline it is causing a midline shift as well so you see this midline it's supposed to be straight but it's going like this so you've got this mass effect on this side that is happening from this particular bleed so it's compressing the ventricles and it is causing a midline shift. This is a pontine bleed around here, cerebellar bleed around here, and two more bleeds. This is a spot sign that you may see around here. You see these little spots around here in the CT with contrast to the patient. This signifies an active bleed. And you can see a swirl sign here, some hypodensity inside this hypo, hyperdensity, which, uh, yeah, you see this, like, kind of a swirl of hyperdensity inside, which shows, signifies that there's a bleed happening as well. And this way. to calculate the size, go to the um, slice with the maximum bleeding that you see. One dimension maximally is A. One dimension is B. The formula is A, B, C divided by 2. C is the number of slices that you see uh, in which the bleed is there if multiplied by the uh, distance between the two slices. So if you got uh, slice that slices that have a 0 0.25 centimeter between them and you've got four slices that are showing the bleed. So this is going to be 4 into point. 25 is equal to 1 centimeter so c is going to be 1 and you've got a b c by 2 so this is all about uh intraparenchymal and hemorrhagic strokes and i hope you guys benefit from them and can identify them on a cd scan